Hey guys, I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And Apple has released yet another beta today for iOS 14.5. Today releasing iOS 14.5 Developer Beta 6. Yes, another beta. And there's actually quite a bit of improvements and changes that I wanted to share with you guys in this video in regards to this beta. There's some new features and some important updates to the battery and battery capacity, which I want to share with you guys. Now, if you follow me here on the channel, I thought this software would have been released by today at the latest and or a release candidate. As you can see, Apple released another beta that has yet to happen. So Apple has other plans. Maybe the software is aimed to be released toward mid-April. We'll have to wait and see. This beta cycle has lasted quite a bit, over 60 days of beta cycle releases in beta for iOS 14.5. Today, beta 6 is available for public beta testers and developers alike. So beta 6 comes in at approximately 250 to 270, depending on your device that you're updating and the beta that you're updating from. So Apple continues to release new betas for both developers and public beta testers. And uh, let's take a look at some of the latest changes because aside from iOS 14.5, of course, Apple released all of their other platform updates for Mac OS 11.3 beta 6 is available iPad OS 14.5 beta 6, watch OS 7.4 beta 6, and tbOS 14.5 beta 6 is also available, so as per usual. So let's take a look here at the build number quickly, and we'll take a look at some of the latest changes. There's quite a bit to talk about here. Take a look at the build number there, 18E5194A, which gives us another build number with the letter A towards the end, and Apple has improved quite a bit with this one and some important stuff here happening for the battery department. You don't want to miss that. So first up, Siri. Siri now gets two additional voices for the American. So right now, Siri, this is the uh, before UI, as you can see there, we no longer get the gender. And uh, we now have, instead of accents, we have the variety options here. So take a look here at the other screenshot. This is today's beta, beta 6. So now we have four voices for America and a new option up top instead of the actual accents, as you can see right there. So let's head on over to settings and take a listen here to the latest Siri voices. So now Siri no longer defaults back to the actual Siri female voice. So you now have the option when you go to set up your iPhone and you update to 14.5, you'll be able to select which voice you prefer. So voice number one. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Number two. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Number three. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. And number four, of course, being the standard Siri voice. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. So you can download these voices. As you can see, when I tap there, Hi, it starts downloading. I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. So if you keep it there, you see that the progress bar continues to go up. And once it's downloaded, that's going to be your Siri voice if you prefer. And again, two new ones aside from the two that we already had for Siri. No more gender assigned to Siri, male or female. So as you can see right there, it's just voices from here on out. Now there's actually some improvements to the battery health department as well. Now Apple has noted that the battery health options, so let's go to battery and battery health options right here, specifically iPhone 11 models. So iPhone 11, 11 Pro have expressed or shown the wrong or improper battery health capacity. And Apple has noted that this is actually an issue within iOS. So there's built-in software now for 14.5 that recalibrates the battery health for your iPhone. So this will take some time. This will be an overtime recalibrating of the battery health on your iPhone, but some users have expressed concerns on how the battery health wasn't showing proper, and Apple has taken action to recalibrate this issue within the battery health of your iPhone. So once you install iOS 14.5, this will take effect as you charge your iPhone over time. So don't expect your battery health to be recalibrated within one uh, charge cycle. This would actually take maybe two to three weeks as you charge your device, the iPhone will recalibrate and show you proper battery health for your iPhone. Now, this is available for iOS 14.5, but Apple is specifically targeting iPhone 11 models. And it's good to see that Apple is recognizing that there are some issues. Most consumers with iPhone 11 were expressing this issue, as well as iPhone 7 owners, which Apple has targeted the battery on that, which is, by the way, a lot better. If you want to watch my follow-up video on this software, make sure to stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. Two major changes today, Siri and a battery recalibrating for iOS 14.5 beta 6. Let me know your thoughts on those comments down below. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.